This video is for entertainment and educational purposes only. So today, guys, I want to talk about safer use versus safe use. Um, it's something that people have challenged me on. And I like to use this analogy uh, when it comes to safer PED use. No one, including myself, that was responsible is going to claim that there is such thing as safe use. There is safer use, and there's varying degrees of safety. There is a dis distinction between the two. Uh, bodybuilding and its uh, associated PED use, to me, is a lot like motorcycle racing. Okay, racing motorcycles is an inherently dangerous sport. Um, you're, you're crazy if you get on a motorcycle and go around a track at 180 miles an hour. Um, I used to love riding motorcycles. I did it for many years. Had a lot of close calls. Anyone who's ridden motorcycles knows what I'm talking about. Uh, I see bodybuilding as the same type of thing as being a professional motorcycle racer or even an amateur one if you're if you're um, chasing after a bodybuilding dream. Uh, so you have a in motorcycle racing you have a higher likelihood of poor outcomes and death from then from motorcycle racing than you would if you just sat on your couch and did fucking nothing. Bodybuilding is exactly the same. If you just went to the gym, uh, got in shape, didn't use any PEDs, uh, and didn't do crazy things like contest prep, which is terrible on your body, to be honest with you, uh, you would be much better off as far as health goes. But the motorcycle racer and the bodybuilder both love what they do and are going to do it regardless. Uh, so here's the thing. If you think about riding around a motorcycle track, racing a motorcycle, and you rode around the track at 180 miles per hour with no helmet, no racing jacket, no racing pants, no gloves, just in a pair of shorts and a t-shirt and flip-flops on, and you rode like an asshole, your probability of a poor outcome greatly increases. The same is true with bodybuilding, guys. If you go out and do stupid shit like running trend year-round, dropping orals year-round, taking experimental compounds that have no track record of human safety, uh, and not tracking your health parameters, it is analogous to riding that motorcycle around the track with no safety gear. Your probability of a poor outcome greatly increases. The same is true in bodybuilding. If you take unnecessary risk without the proper safety precautions, you are greatly going to increase the chance of a poor outcome. Using smartly and understanding what compounds we want to leverage to reduce the risk of poor outcomes doesn't entirely eliminate risk, but it greatly reduces it. It's just like wearing a helmet, wearing a racing jacket, wearing uh, racing pants does when you're riding a motorcycle. You're lowering the chances of poor outcomes if you do have an accident. Uh, remember, I am promoting safer use. If you're looking for safe use, don't use it all. That's my advice. If you don't want to risk a poor outcome, just stay away. That's the simple answer. And I, that's the, the God's honest truth, people. If you, driving a car is dangerous. Everything you do in life is dangerous. If you want to completely avoid risk, don't engage in an activity that has risk involved. Uh, so if you want to stay on the couch, that's the way to eliminate risk. You don't, you don't eliminate risk by getting on a motorcycle. You don't eliminate risk by engaging in bodybuilding and PED use either. If you don't want risk, don't take risk. Stay away from the sport. It's not for you. I hope this helps, guys. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.